Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we are doing our full moon goal check-in. Two weeks ago we created some goals during the new moon and we have been working hard towards those things and today we're going to check in and see where we're at. So I want you to go ahead and get those goals out. If you have not downloaded my goal setting and action steps um, doc you can it's free it's on my website just um, go to the description box below and you can get that if you want it but full moons are a time of fulfillment and resolution of our goals okay and so i'm sure by now some of you have started marking off some of the, some of those steps you had to take in order to reach your goal and then there's going to be people that have already reached their goals by uh, two weeks i mean and that's just uh, that's just the way it is it's awesome um and so this is a time where you'll see some of your goals um, actualized and come into your reality and it's also a time of shedding and it's a time of letting go of some things sometimes and we'll go more into that later but um I want to encourage you because sometimes as we start going towards these goals we start taking steps and as we take a step forward um, you may find that sometimes once you take a step forward you can find yourself feeling like you're taking two steps back because maybe on your way to taking a step forward you found out there's actually going to be more steps in order to make that goal become a reality um, for example one of my goals this year was to get my son braces because he's been wanting them for a while and so to uh, this year we're going to go get them and we've already started taking steps in order to do that we had an appointment and all that um, but as we went into our appointment we realized that there was one more thing that we had to do in order for him to get braces so we kind of took our step forward and we feel like we went two steps back now but that's okay we're going to keep moving forward and we're going to keep um, our eye on the prize and we're going to stay focused and it's not that big of a deal because it's still going to come to fruition this month so I'm okay with that as long as it gets done by the end of the month and so you may come up um, against circumstances like that where you feel like you took a step forward but then um, actually it's almost like two steps back and maybe it's just because you forgot a step or you didn't realize there was another step that you had to take and that's no big deal don't no big deal don't let that get in your way blocks can come up sometimes sometimes we can have these roadblocks that come up in our way and people can kind of put roadblocks up in our way and we don't want to you know stop at the roadblock we want to go around the roadblock hop over it because really the roadblocks aren't that tall you know they're like three foot tall you can hop over them right um so we don't want to um, use the roadblocks as excuses or signs that we should stop and we should not move forward we want to just kind of you know walk around those things and some of the roadblocks you may have is you might have um, there's some there's something that you have to buy in order to um, make your goal become a reality um, such as maybe you ha you're trying to get fit you ha and you need to you want to run and but you realize when you went out to run you're going to need some running shoes because ten regular tennis shoes aren't going to cut it okay so in order to make running comfortable you're going to have to buy a few things you're going to have to buy some running shoes you're going to have to buy some underwear that doesn't ride up your butt <laughs> and you're going to have to buy some warm clothes right now because in Georgia it is winter where I'm at I don't know where you're at but um, so there's some things that you may have to get that will make um, your goal um, become a reality and let's go ahead and get those things so that we can start moving towards our goals that's just an example maybe you're not even getting fit and that's fine maybe it's something else but sometimes we can have these blocks come up in the way or unforeseen circumstances come up that can take our focus off of the goal and so let's not use these unforeseen circumstances as a um, a reason to give up you know and or a reason to get discouraged so I want to encourage you to don't become discouraged when you see that there are a few more steps that you have to take and a few more things that have to be done before you can kind of get going and get in the flow of things. I want you to keep moving forward and realize that these blocks and these um, unforeseen circumstances are all part of the process. Um, I know you didn't think that you were going to reach your goals with, without a little work and a little resistance, right? That's what makes us strong. That's what makes us learn things. And let's just keep moving forward and not let them um, deter us from what we're trying to do. 
And if you feel stuck in life, if you feel stuck like you can't um, even make any progress towards your goals or you feel stuck that you can't even level up, I want you to know that you're not stuck, okay? That's the first thing I want you to know and that you can move forward. And I want you to know that you're not really stuck. All that's happening is you just keep creating the same outcome over and over again. And if you look at it in that perspective, that's a lot more encouraging and it feels a lot better than saying that I feel stuck because you really are creating the same outcome over and over again when you feel stuck. And the way you keep doing that is you keep being the same way that you always are in the situation. You keep taking the same actions, taking the same steps, you keep doing the same things and you don't mix it up, okay? So you gotta remember, if you want something different, you have to be different. You have to have certain different things. You have to do certain different actions in order to make your goals become a reality. So anytime that you start feeling stuck, just know, I'm not stuck. I just keep creating the same reality over and over again because my steps are aligned with this outcome. And in order for you to align with the reality that you want to align with, you're going to have to take the steps that align with this reality, okay? So you're not stuck. You just keep creating the same outcome. Start doing things a little different. Start taking some anomalous action towards your goals or anom anomalous action in general, and you'll start seeing changes. So not only are full moons about fulfillment of your goals and resolution, it's also a really good time to shed some things, okay? And it's a really good time to let go of things in life, okay? So maybe there are some things that are hindering you from reaching your goals and you're going to have to let those things go. go. And I like to use fitness and um, uh, eating healthy as um, an example because they're super easy for me and that may not even be your goal it's just easy for me to explain but you can apply it to every area of your life but like for instance if you're trying to get healthier and you're um, trying to lose weight or you're trying to get fit you know there's some things that you're going to have to let go of and a lot of habits that you're going to have to let go of such as if you're going to get healthy you might want to throw out all the unhealthy food in your life and of course you're going to have to replace those with new foods just something simple like that you're just going to have to let go of a few things sometimes okay but not only when you're trying to reach your goals are you going to have to let go of certain things but i notice during this time there can be some negative emotions come up and there can be some drama come up in your life and when you do see these negative emotions come up and you do see this drama coming up in your life fully accept what is going on because these things are coming up so that you can deal with them and let them go they're coming up so you can release them so that you don't have to deal with them anymore so instead of kind of avoiding the drama and avoiding the negative emotion that's coming up i want you to deal with it and i want you to resolve any emotions that are coming up and resolve any drama that is happening because these things aren't coming up for no reason they're coming up because you need to deal with them and you need to let them go so that you can move on and start aligning with the reality that you're trying to align with because you want to have a healthy happy life abundant uh, vibrant and you can't have um, certain things in life if you want that you're gonna have to let some of these things go and this is a really great time to start looking at your life and realizing what's coming up deal with it you know make everything come to a resolution and then let it go and move on you'll feel lighter you'll feel healthier and you'll feel happier and be careful when this drama does come up because this drama can take your focus off of the main goals okay and um, when this happens i want you to um, realize that your focus wherever your focus goes that's what you're going to grow okay that's what is going to get your attention and whatever you give attention to it gets bigger and bigger and bigger so quit giving your attention to the drama once it's resolved and get your mind focused back on your main goals and what is important don't focus on how negative you know it was feeling let's just get back to the main goal which is to get our goals um, met so that we can um, align with the reality that we're trying to align with and one more thing about your goals. Um, if you are finding 
um, that your goals are a little rough on you and they're kind of a, a really hard to meet, I want you to kind of um, go through your goals. And even if you already have goals and you're finding them easy to meet, this can pertain to you too. I don't know why I said that, but just look at your goals and I want you to make sure that all of the goals that you came up with at the beginning of the year are authentically your goals, that they authentically came from you. And one of the easiest ways to find out if your goals are really yours is to ask why. Why do I want to meet this goal? And why is it that I want to meet this goal? And why is it that this goal is so important to me? And if you can look at your why and feel good about that why and, and, and feel like it resonates within you and it's a really good reason why that's your goal and it came from you, then you know it came from you. Uh, but sometimes we can look at our goals and I want you to make sure that it's not a goal that society has pressed on you to be something or that it's something that someone else says you ought to be or you heard this is the way you should be, this is the way good people are. Um, um, I want you to really look at your goals and ask yourself, where did that goal come from? And why do I want to meet that goal? And if it's not because it's going to make me feel um, healthy, abundant, vibrant, then I want you to um, kind of reassess and tweak it a little bit. Because we want to make sure that our goals are coming from within. Okay? And we want to make sure that our goals are not feeding our ego. They're not puffing us up. We're not doing them because we want to feel better than people. We're not doing them because we want to um, feed some sort of uh, ego that we have. And we want to um, do things in life because they benefit ourselves and they benefit other others as well. Um, we want to have goals that come from a place of love, not from a place of fear. Um, just things like that. So check in real quick and make sure all those goals are yours. And if they're not really, honestly, let those goals go that society has pressed on you or that somebody else has told you this is, um, it was somebody else's idea and you just thought, hey, that's cool. Maybe I'll try that. Let's, let's create some goals from within. Okay. And let's do those. Okay. And before I let you guys go, I just want to say a little bit about self-care. Self-care is super important when you're trying and striving towards your goals, okay? Because if you don't take care of yourself, you're going to burn out and you're going to give up and you're going to quit. You're going to say, it's too hard. I can't handle this. What was I thinking? Who do I think I am? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to feed yourself nourishing foods, drink your water, move your body every day, you know, get seven hours of sleep. Um, this is a really good time to meditate and check in with yourself. Um, give yourself some solitude, alone time to, um, you know, go over what's going on in your mind. Um, you cannot pour from an empty cup. I know you guys have heard this your whole lives, but you cannot pour from an empty cup. You have to fill yourself up. You have to nourish yourself and replenish yourself so that you can have enough energy to um, make these goals become a reality so that you don't give up and that you don't just say it's hopeless. I can't do this. You know, if you are taking care of yourself, if you are resting when you're tired, if you're relaxing, if you're, um, taking care of yourself in these ways, you're going to be able to sustain the, in to sustain the energy levels that you need in order to perform at your optimal level when it's time to start striving towards those goals mentally and physically. Okay. Cause it's not just all physical. It's, it's mental as well. You only have so much mental energy and so much physical energy. And so take care of yourself so that you can not burn out and keep having momentum to move forward. Okay. And so that you don't feel like a turtle slogging through peanut butter trying to reach your goals. You'll thank me for it. Um, and another thing I like to do during these full moon times is I like to clean my space declutter some things, the nightstand, the desk, whatever I have in my house that's decluttered. I like to clean and get everything nice. I'll feel grounded. It feels good. It's like a good clean energy going on in the house. Um, I like to light candles and I may burn my favorite incense. I love Palo Santo. It puts the good vibes in the air. And if you got some sage, you can sage the house. It kills bacteria in the air and it gets rid of those bad vibes. You can put the good vibes back in with the Palo Santo um, and yourself, of course. Um, but yeah, those are just some tips I have for the full moon tonight. I hope you guys will do some of these things. You can journal, go over those goals again. Let's reset. 
and let's meet back in two weeks and <laughs> let's check in on these goals again because um, I think this is really good for us and I think it's good to have somebody to help you stay on track and if you're interested in finding more about what I do you can go to my website below and find out more download the goal setting and action steps um, list get started if you haven't it's gonna be awesome and I will see you guys the next time I make a video y'all have a good day bye bye